Hi everybody, welcome to the session of design and analysis of algorithm. In this session, we deal with binary search algorithm. Binary search is a searching technique with algorithm is designed using divide and conquer strategy. To perform binary search, we require a list of elements which are arranged in ascending order and an element to be searched. We assume A is an list of array elements arranged in ascending order whose index starts from 1 and ends with n and let x be the element to be searched. Now the problem of binary search says that search the value of x in array list of element a. If suppose the value of x is found in the array list of element a then return the exact position where the element is found in the array. If the x is not found in the array, then return the value of 0, indicating the element is not found. Let us see the steps to perform binary search. Initially, identify the lower and higher boundaries of the array. Lower boundary usually be 1 and the higher boundary usually be n. Now find the mid position of an array by taking the average of lower and higher position that is low plus i by 2. Now compare the value of x with the value in the mid position of an array a of mid. x may be equal to a of mid, x may be greater than a of mid or x may be less than a of mid. Let us see what to do in these three cases. If x is equal to a of mid that indicates that the value is found in the mid position hence return mid our work is done. If the x is greater than a of mid, it means that the value of x may be found only in the second half of array, that is from mid plus 1 position to the higher position. Hence, you search from mid plus 1 position to the higher position. In the third case, if the x value is lesser than a of mid, it means that x may be found in the first half of an array. Hence, we search from lower position to mid minus 1 position. Let us see with an example. Consider the following example of an array of 6 elements whose index starts from 1 and ends with 6. And x is given as a 6, the element to be searched. The first step, identify the lower and higher boundaries. In the given array, the lower boundary is 1 and the higher boundary is 6. Now calculate the mid position which is calculated as low plus high by 2. That is nothing but 7 by 2. The 3 is the mid position of an array. Compare x with a of mid. That is you are comparing 6 with 0. Is 6 equal to 0? No. Is 6 greater than 0? Yes. The possibility is that the element may be found only in the second half of array as the array is sorted in ascending order. That means I should search the element x from mid plus 1 position to high position. So we will continue the search from mid plus 1 position to high position. Now in this case when I start searching from mid plus 1 position to high position my lower boundary will become mid plus 1. That is nothing but 4 in this case and higher boundary remains same as 6. Repeat the procedure. Calculate mid position again. Now 4 plus 6 by 2, 5 is my mid position. Now compare the value of x with a of mid. 6 is compared with the value of 17. Is 6 equal to 17? No. Is 6 greater than 17? No. Is 6 less than 17? Yes. In this situation, value to be searched may be found only in the first half of the array. That means I should start searching from lower boundary to mid minus 1 position. Now let us continue for searching from lower boundary to mid minus 1 position. My lower boundary here is 4 as in the previous step. My higher boundary is changed to mid minus 1 where mid is in the previous step is 5. Hence my higher boundary is now Four. Now calculate position mid, which is nothing but 4 plus 4 by 2 is 4. 
Now compare x with a of med. 6 is equal to 6. Is 6 equal to 6? Yes. Hence, the element is found. Which position the element is found? Element is found in fourth position. Hence, return the value of 4. This is how a binary search algorithm works. Now, let us start writing an algorithm for this binary search as per the step. So, algorithm, we are naming it as binary search. We require A and X. A is an array element. N is the size of an array. X is the element to be searched. The very first step, we indicate the lower boundary as 1 initially and we indicate the higher boundary as n initially. Then we will check whether there, there are n number of elements. That is why low is less than equal to high. The first step is to calculate mid. So calculate mid is equal to low plus high by 2. Once it is done, now compare x with a of mid. Check whether x is equal to a of mid. If x is equal to a of mid, the element is found. Hence, we are saying return mid. The second case, else, if x is less than a of mid, that means the element is found from low to mid minus 1. Low remains same, but high will become mid minus 1. Hence, I am assigning mid minus 1 to 5. The other case, if x is greater than a of mid, I need to search from mid plus 1 to high. High remains same, but low value becomes mid plus 1. Repeat this process until the element is found or not found. In case the element is not found, we are supposed to return. This is a non-recursive binary search algorithm. We can also write the binary search algorithm using recursion. Let us see. Binary search recursive algorithm. So we are writing binary search algorithm. We are taking A as an array of list of elements. Low is the lower index of an array. High is the higher index of an array. X is the element to be searched. Let us divide the problem into small. If there is a single element in an array, that is low is equal to high, we require only one comparison, that is low is equal to high. So I am checking if low is equal to high, if there is a single element, then compare X with that element, that is A of low. If suppose it is equal, we return the position as 1, that is nothing but the low. In case if it is not equal, we return the value of 0. This is when the problem is small. In case the problem is large, let us divide the problem into small pieces and solve by using recursion. In case low is not equal to high, it means that when there are more number of elements in an array, first calculate mid value low plus high by 2. Once the mid position is known, you perform comparison. Compare x with a of mid. In case if x is equal to a of mid, the element is found. Hence, we are returning the value of mid position. In case if x is lesser than a of mid, as we discussed, I should perform the binary search algorithm from low position to mid minus 1 position. So I am calling recursively the binary search algorithm on the array A from the low position to mid minus 1 position. If x is greater than A of mid, then I should again perform binary search algorithm from mid plus 1 position to high. Hence, I am calling recursive algorithm binary search of array A from mid plus 1 position to the high position. This is recursive algorithm for binary search. Now let us see the time complexity required for this binary search algorithm. Let me assume n be the size of the array list of elements and t of n be the total time taken to search an element in the n elements. The best case says that if suppose there is only a single element of an array, so we require only one comparison, whether the x is equal to a of low. Hence, I can say that t of n is equal to 1 when n is equal to 1. n indicates the number of elements. So, when there is only single element, the total time taken is only one comparison. That is a constant of time. 
In the other cases, whether it is an average case or a worst case, we require one comparison and searching on the half of the array. That is 1 plus t of n by 2, where n is equal to greater than 1. What does this t of n by 2? If t of n indicates the time required to search a value in list of n elements, t of n by 2 is the time taken to search n n by 2 elements. So I can solve the equation, recursive equation, t of n is equal to 1 plus t of n by 2. Now let us solve the recursion equation. So t of n is equal to 1 plus t of n by 2. Substitute the value of t of n by 2. So it indicates 1 plus 1 plus t of n by 4. That is 2 plus t of n by 4. Resubstitute the value of t of n by 4, which indicates it is 3 plus t of n by 8. Generalizing it, it can be written as 3 plus n by 2 by 3. After k times, k plus t of n by 2 power k. Let 2 power k is equal to n implies k equal to log n to the base 2. On substituting it, t of n will become log n plus t of 1. We know that t of 1 is equal to 1 since t of n is equal to 1 for n is equal to 1. Now hence, the time for worst and average case is equal to of log n to the base 2. On an overview, for a successful search, in the best case, when there is a single element in an array, I require only one comparison, hence the time taken is t of 1. In the average or the worst case, whenever the array element is greater than 1, I require one comparison and to be searched the element in the half of an array. Hence the time taken is 1 plus t of n by 2. On solving, we get t of log n to the base 2. In case of unsuccessful search, if the element is not found, the procedure remains the same. Hence, for the unsuccessful search, whether the best average or the worst case, we require log n to the base 2. This is the time complexity for the binary search algorithm. In this session, we discussed what is a binary search algorithm, what are the steps to be followed, how to perform binary search algorithm using recursion, non-recursion, along with an example. Thank you.